Okay, so I am back with another video. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, research and what sort of priorities you should have. Um, I've had to explain a couple different times because we've had some newer, newer players uh, poured into our world or our, our kingdom and, uh, and they've asked questions and stuff like that. So the first thing I wanted to do is I'm actually going to just bring my list over here so that way everybody knows what I'm talking about and it's on a list. So basically your first step is going to be making sure you have your dragon gear. Uh, it's the turkey set. Um, it is kind of difficult to have especially if you are on a newer kingdom um, where people aren't having that stockpile where they don't have the um, those turkey flowers to really trade. Um, so, so basically having your turkey set is going to be your very first step um, that you're going to want to make sure you prioritize. You can still do research without it. However, um, just going based off of what's in my turkey gear alone, um, after research obviously, I'm getting an extra 1389% um, percent, um, research speed. Um, which is super helpful. Um, that's a that's a little bit more than half of what my total research is. Um, my my boosts here is twenty four oh seven point two seven. Um, so the thirteen hundred that I'm getting just strictly from my gear um, between my uh, my crystals and my set bonus. Um, your set bonus is going to be really helpful, um, and you get research to boost all that up. Um, so uh, your your gear is going to be your very first step because um, it's going to be the easiest um, as as a single piece. It'll be the easiest thing to do. Um, the easiest by far um, is going to be your your knights. So you have, uh, as you can see here, I wrote down the knights that that do boost. Research, you have Lamarack, Lionel, and Reaper Alaric. Um, those are going to be super easy, I guess, to get. Uh, your Reaper Alaric is a paid knight, so really the only way you can get them is through your your weekly knight events. Um, this guy does boost 200% by himself, um, and, and so that's super nice. Um, and then um, one thing I do want to mention is, uh, I think I mentioned it in my night adventure video as well, um, but this right here says active once recruited. That means you do not have to have him assigned to your research spot in your night hall. It is active anywhere he is, even if he's not in your city. Um, Lionel is going to be the next one. Um, he really isn't that easy to get. He's probably the second hardest one uh, out of the three. Um, and that's because uh, you don't really get any night um, my, night pieces until later on in, in your chapters. The easiest by far is going to be Lamarack. He is somebody that you do want to get to Epic really quickly because he is a ranged-based champion. Um, and he's super helpful because um, the first, uh, the first chapter um, that he's in, uh, I believe it's chapter one, and yeah, so chapter one, um, this guy here, he gives two night pieces. When you um, when you get night pieces, you get two on this one. Um, I don't have any extra energy, so I can't show you, and I don't really want to get extra pieces from him because I've already maxed him out. Um, the other one, uh, I'll just throw this in really quick. Um, this guy here, um, Exemplar Vertigern. Um, he also gives two pieces when you get pieces. So those two um, are super easy. You can get both of these um, at Civic Center 21. Um, so uh, with those two and this guy right here, um, this is my personal preference. Tager is, uh, those three are my go-to top three for all of my farms. Um, I've got them epic on all of my farms. Next one that I do is this guy here. Galahad, because he does give you um, that resource production um, cast 
um, which gives you like ten and a half hours or something. Yeah, almost ten and a half hours of your total production. So if you have a hyper farm um, or anything, it's super helpful. You get it one every day on the day cooldown. Um, so that's going to be essentially your step two. The next step is going to be super duper basic. Um, don't mind this empty hole that I have here. Um, I'll deal with that later. Um, so here, all of these basic boosts that you get here in your development um, tab, all of these cap out at level 50. Um, it's here, it says capped at level 50. So, so you basically want to get, um, especially when you're first starting, you want to get um, three knights to level 50 very quickly, so that way you can just keep three knights in this spot um, until I have my maxed um, adventures um, on my farms. I keep my three strongest in here um, because then I don't have to worry about accidentally sending them to gather on a tile or anything. Because once they're out of your city, you can't use them for adventures. Um, here for your combat, you want to pick which ones that you ha want for your the defense of your city. Um, th this is where you get the boost for those. Um, is if you want um, the knights to affect the stats of your your troops when somebody attacks you, they go into this spot here. Um, and then once they hit um, level one hundred. Well, not necessarily with level 100, but every knight, when they hit level 100, gets an active in battles um, skill. Um, doesn't matter which one they are. Sometimes you'll have some knights that only do, um, like, one, uh, one skill um, is active in battles, but then you'll have a couple other ones. Like this one here, he's got a construction and a gold production. So the only skill that he has active in battles is this ranged life, which means he's doing one of three things in, in your combat, and he's not a really good combat knight because of that. Um, and then same thing here with Lionel. He does ranged defense, but his other two skills are not combat. So um, don't worry about those. Anyway, next step is going to be your, your skins, your... Uh, your decoration skins, so your city skins and your dragon skins. Um, there are two skins that you can use for your city. Actually, three three skins um, that boost research. You have your ice castle, um, which gives a base fifty percent. You have your Christmas castle, um, which gives you a base fifty percent as well. Uh, biggest difference between most of these city skins are, are these bonus once owned abilities. Um, I personally um, made the mistake of going with this Wheel of Vitality and upgrading this one. I don't think it's a huge waste because overall, if I if I cap all of these um, to epic, uh, they'll they'll give really close to the same research speed. Um, this one here will cap out at 180%. This ice castle here is going to be 200%. So it's it's just 20%, which when you're getting up there in the super high level um, researches, that 20% will add up. Um, I I did it because um, I, I saw that it had dragon attack and, and gathering speed, and I'm really big on gathering, so... Um, I made the mistake of going for the Gathering skin, um, but um, this Ice Castle is probably going to be the best one to choose um, because you do get it through your um, your Exchange Center, or at least currently the last uh, since I've started playing this night. This Ice Castle has always been in the Exchange Center, which means that is probably going to be the best one to go with because you get free points. So once you get your 1,000 points for the event, you get your 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 city skin or your dragon skin, and then you can upgrade it. Um, but that would have been the best choice, I think. Um, the Christmas skin is also really cool. Um, however, the only way you can get it is through your decoration coins or through purchasing packs. I don't think it's uh, available um, in the exchange center, at least not right now. It's the same thing with this Wheel of Vitality. 
Um, but those are your three city skins. Um, for dragon skins, you only have one dragon skin currently, which is going to be the Stone Shield Dragon, which also does a base 50%. Um, so outside of that, you do have a gathering skin, the Ice Sled, which also does a base 50 Um uh, but outside of that, it's really, it's not too good. I wouldn't recommend investing too much into this until the very last. Uh, but it is very nice because it does give you 50%. Um, mostly because you can get a basically 100% up, uh, up keep, up time on this Turkey and March buff. Which with 130% um, troop load and the gathering boost, um, I do think that's the best one to go with. Um... But, you know, if you if you are worried about, you know, your speeds and everything, definitely get it. So that way if you are doing a large um, research or if you're going to get this one here and do a large construction, you can just pop it on really quick and then, and then swap back your turkey buff. Um, so those are, that's going to be essentially your third thing. Um, with this list here, uh, it is not uh, listed by priority. Um, so... If, if you're looking at this and like, oh, I have to have these city skins before I can do any research, definitely don't worry about that. Um, I listed these as I thought the, that it was going to help out. Um, and so your fourth one is going to be your crystals. Um, Adventure 118. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That would be, I believe, this one here. I did take a screenshot of it, but I didn't get it uploaded on my computer to have it listed in this. Um, but I do believe at the end of this one, um, you get your research set. So when you're doing your adventures, um, every once in a while they'll go through and they'll give you a, a full set of, of crystals. Um, you get um, your research, you get construction, you get uh, your troop type, you know, mounted, ground, ranged um, items. Um, and so that's also super helpful. And let me see, I think I have it right here. So yes, yeah, so Vanish is the name of the... What is it on this one? They're both called Vanish. So... I think it might be just the master mode that gives you the uh, the, the the gems, the crystals. I mean, um, but uh, that is something that you want to have um, when you do it. Um, you will get all seven pieces of all four. That means you're going to get the special crystal bonus or your your special crystal. However, you won't be able to use it yet um, unless you did the research to unlock it, um, which is going to be in here. It's uh, right here. The forging tree will unlock your special set crystal. So outside of that, um, the next thing to do um, that's super duper easy is making sure your dragon skills are set to research reduction. Um, I would really recommend having a preset specifically for research so that way you know for sure that when you're going in here, your research uh, resource saving skills are all maxed. Um, and that's going to be super helpful because the, the, the more and more you research, the more it's going to cost. Um, so there's a couple different skills in here that you can get to reduce the research um, costs. And that's super important because once you get into the bigger researches that are heavy on research, it's going to be like three billion of every single resource to do the the research. So you definitely want to do those. Um, outside of the dragon skills, you can also do um, this city prosperity. There's also an additional twenty percent that you can take off. Um, however, I think you need to hit Civic Center 26, I think, for that. Um, I don't remember what the the max that you, uh, or the minimum Civic Center was to, to get this done. Um, so outside of that, next step would be actual research. So there's a couple different research things that you can do. Um, you can do your power-up, um, 
which is here in Equipment Power Up. When you're doing this, this is a little bit different um, way to, to do your research typically. Um, first step to do is unlock your plus five power up and then immediately before you do any other research, go and boost all your equipment to power up plus five. Um, and then um, you're gonna do the minimum research required to hit plus 10. So for plus 10, um, you, all, you don't need to get these guys up here to maxed. Um, you just need to get them, I think, to like level 3 on each of them. And then you can do your plus 10. And then same thing, as soon as you get the plus 10 unlocked, go go uh, power up your equipment to plus 10. And then the same thing here, once you get to plus 15, you want to do the minimum amount required to get to plus 15. And the reason why is because when you do these here to 10, you're looking at about 1500 days on your research. You really don't want to do that without, you know, maximizing your research for the current stage that you're at. Um, and then with all of these researches, this is not a, a, a there's no right or wrong way to do this. However, um, I noted in here, if you're gonna do the forging tree to unlock your fourth slot, your special crystal slot, um, you need to have your advanced econ tree maxed out. Um, if you don't, you will not be able to finish the tree. Um, I do not think that there, for the other trees, that you need to actually max any other um, researchers outside of that current tree. Um, and then once you get your power up um, unlocked in your blacksmith, there's a little uh, spot in here to do power up. So you just click on your thing and you do power up. Um, and then that's how you do it. Um, I have my VIP, my VIP high enough to where I can do a max power up in one go. Um, but uh, essentially, you want to do your regular power up until I think level six. Once you get to level seven, when you're powering up from level six to seven, you have the chance to fail. Then you want to do your continuous power up from that point uh, because it's going to do 10 chances in one go um, and it's just going to save you a lot of time. Um, so after you do your power up stuff, um, you um, you want to go through, and um, I don't know whether or not you would want to at this point finish maxing out the the boost that you get for the power up. So they have all of these um, that increases the the boost that you get from your plus ten power up, um, specifically for a research set and stuff like that. Um, and then the same thing here, your research set plus, uh, or power up plus 15, you can increase those boosts as well. Um, and then I wouldn't, um, until you uh, finish all of the research boosts, I wouldn't go into anything further below this, because um, they are pretty expensive. Um, next thing you would want to do, or not next specifically, but uh, uh, an additional thing to do is doing your uh, set bonus um, stuff. Um, when you're doing your set bonus, um, initially you just want to max everything um, until you get to this spot here. You don't want to go past your special set bonus because all of that below that is all going to be combat, uh, combat related. Um, so uh, just do the stuff that's going to boost your regular set bonuses um, and then that way you're going to max out your, um, your research boost. And that's the whole point of the video is to max your research boost before you start getting into something that's going to be, uh, you know, the the tier five, like 30,000 day research and stuff like that. Um, next step after that, um, your foraging tree. Um, basically, one thing you can do is when you're doing your foraging tree, you can actually skip a couple of these. I think I went through and I did them. Um, but these here, um, these, uh, crystal slots in your soul armor, you can skip those. Um, I don't think they're super, they're, they're definitely not super long researches, but they are going to save you um, some time. And you don't need to do these four, I believe. Um, so you can skip those, you can go straight through to unlocking your, your normal slots. Um, so that's definitely helpful. Um, once, the only really re uh, requirement that I would say that this has is um, 
you do not want to do your crystal set research um, until you've actually unlocked your fourth set, your your special bonus or your special crystal, because that's what this is: is that you, in order to get any benefit from this tree at all, you have to have all four in that set. Um, and if you haven't done that forging tree, you can't use all four, so it's useless. And for this right here, just go to this um, 10 of 10 spot, and then that's it. Um, everything else, I haven't touched this yet, um, and it's on my to-do list, but I've got some other priorities right now. Um, but you just want to have your research boost maxed out as much as possible. Um, outside of that, there is another one to do. Um, that's not necessarily going to be boosting your research, but it's going to be boosting the times. And that is here in the restorative tree, you get extra helps. Um, and the reason why this is important is because this is going to shave off uh, an extra 1% of your research time. And the, w the way this works is with helps is this is really important because it's going to give you 1% of a reduction after you've started your research. So this one's a little bit different because all of your other stuff is going to be boosting your initial time and, and then this alliance help is going to boost what's left over afterwards. So when you have this to 10 of 10 you're gonna have 22 helps. Excuse me. So you're gonna have 22 helps. That's so gonna give you 22 percent off of whatever your final well, not your final, but your your research time is from the time that you started. Um, and, you know, as you can see here, I've got this mounted life here. It's over 4,300 days, and you can tell by the bar that that's not even what it was started with. Um, so this right here is really just um, with my helps, and I did a little bit of uh, speed ups in order to get to this next bracket um, for uh, the... Uh, the night event you know I hit that 13,000 mark to to miss mark here the 13,700 days to get that 16 um, slot because everything else out of this is 32,000 I don't have the speeds to hit this one so I'm just gonna get to that last one and then call it quits for the week and then save my research speed or save my speeds for next week um, Outside of that, I don't think I've missed anything. The last possible thing you can do is um, your um, your elixirs. I wouldn't recommend doing any of these research ones until you've hit at least um, Alchemy Workshop level 21 um, or 20, whenever you get your fifth slot, I think. It, so yeah, 21. So get to level 21. So that way you can get your maximum boost from your um, your research, um, which I don't think I have the stuff to make a gold research one. Um, so that's why I don't have one. Um, you can get, I believe, a hundred percent research boost from this, um, and then I'll go through a, a different video on on the, how to go through all of these and, and what to do with elixirs. Um, but those are going to be your basic things to do to boost your research. Um, I would really recommend doing all of these or as much as possible before you start getting into your super heavy research. Um, most of the stuff in your first tree, this primary research, they're all relatively, and I mean relatively, because every other research outside of this is really long compared to this. But I think most of these you cap out at like 200 days on your research. Um, once you get out of this tree and into your um, your progressive tree with your elven combat and stuff, that starts getting a little bit longer. And you know these last two researchers you have, you know your 5,000 day researchers and you know 30,000 day researchers. So before you hopefully touch most of these stuff in the last two trees at the very least um, you want to have all of this stuff here listed out completed um, because the sooner you complete all the things that are on this list that I have here um, the the um, the less money you're going to be spending the less time you're going to be spending on um, getting the research speed ups and stuff like that and and every percent basically will help you save just a load of money um, 
and I know I know people will skip all of this stuff and go straight for you know their the big researches so that we can they, they can get a, a a quick boost on their combat stuff or whatever. Um, but that's definitely not going to be effective for people who aren't going to be you know dropping twenty thousand dollars on this game. So um, the best thing to do. Um, as far as efficiency goes, is is to max out your reduction for for everything. You know your your training cost reductions. Um, your uh, reviving cost is really big. Um, so basically, everything in this tree is is really good. Um, you won't really necessarily need the purification spoon or the reviving cap, um, but everything else is is super good and, and is you know really gonna help in, in everything. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, this went a lot longer than I thought. Um, so hopefully this will all upload onto YouTube without having any issues because it's about 26 minutes long. Um, I got a couple other videos that I want to do. Um, so uh, stick around. If you do have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I do respond to as much uh, of the comments that I can. Um, which is most of it because I don't get a lot. Um, so that's about it. Um, the, I'm gonna do, I, I think, one more video today um, about, uh, I think I'll do gathering today and, and tips and tricks. I just gotta wait for my troops to come back, which is in five minutes, which is fine. Um, so that's it, have a good day.